welcome back to another video on my channel. Hope everyone's doing good. I hope everyone's doing well. These qualifiers, they're just around the corner. Let's look at the DR Congo rebuild. And this one really is a rebuild, a rebuild because they had two absolute stinkers, two shocking results in the uh, the opening two AFCON qualifiers. They're playing Mauritania home and away. They've, for me, they've got to win both. And that's not going to be easy. The new coach, De Sabra, I think he's a top coach. Uh, he's coached African nations before. I think he's a top manager. I think he's destined for top things. This is his biggest job for me. He has to prove himself. Now, what's annoying is, one of the players they managed to get on board, Grady Diangana, who came through the academy at West Ham, someone I actually knows a friend, um, they got him to play for Congo, which is fantastic. He played for England youth sides, but unfortunately he's picked up a little knock. He's at West Brom now, so he's not going to be playing against Mauritania. But for future reference, Grady Diangana going forward, I think, is a fantastic addition. And even here, there's some pretty good players. So the keepers pretty much picked themselves. Kiasson Boal, he, he was always in and around that squad. He's got a club now in Switzerland. But for me, it's the other positions that are interesting. Defensively, you've got Mbemba. He's been very, very good at Porto. You've got Masuaku, another player with links to West Ham. Um, of course, he's on loan at Besiktas now. They've got Kalulu in defence. It's not the AC Milan Kalulu. It's the actual brother of the AC Milan Kalulu. And another brother of the Kalulus is also in this squad in the attacking positions. So that Kalulu family is now representing France and the DRC. But overall, that is a defence that should be more than capable of coming out of this sort of group with the likes of Mauritania, Sudan, you know, they should, Gabon, whatever. They shouldn't be having too many problems. The midfield, Joris Kayembe, a player that played two games for Belgium, I think he played two games for Belgium, has switched from Belgium to the DRC. Again, that's a positive step forward. Shibola in the squad, he once upon a time was playing for Aston Villa, can you believe? Peli Ruddock at Luton Town, he was playing for West Ham once upon a time as well. Bon Gonda, I know it's not a great season for Cadiz, but Bon Gonda, Tio Bon Gonda, he's a good player. There's some good players in there, Mutasami with a Congolese mother at Nantes. These are good players. This is a squad, you know, Meshak Elia. They're good players, man. Bali Kwisha, he's in the squad for the first time. And we want to see DR Congo at an AFCON, don't we? They are the heart and soul of this tournament, of this competition. I love them. I love the DRC. I love Kinshasa. I love them all, all right? But for them to have two, uh, no points, in fact, from the first two games is shocking. I want to see them go out of there. A new confident team. I remember some really good players. I remember Balassi when he was at Congo in his prime. He was brilliant. You know, I want to see... The glory days coming back. Zakuani, um, someone I've spoke to before. But anyway, this is a squad that I think the Congolese people should be happy about. Of course, you've got all that quality up front. The likes of Bakombu, Cedric Bakombu. He was the most expensive African ever, once upon a time. You've got Johan Wissa at Brentford. He's been doing bits in the Premier League. He looks like a fantastic forward option. You've got Gael Kakuta, once of Chelsea. Come on, you've got Malaika. You've got the other Kalulu I mentioned. You've got some decent players in there. The thing is, can you gel them together? Because previously, what sort of happened with the DRC was you got TP Mazembe. Mazembe were literally, for me, for a long period of time, a few years ago, the best club side in Africa. And their talents would go on to Europe, often to the Belgian League. Even if some of them were still at Mazembe, they were good quality players. Now Mazembe have dropped off. They're not even in the CAF Champions League group stage. It's hard to see their talents coming through. But I've got a couple of players in this um, squad from African League, from the Tanzanian League, for example, which I think are really good additions. Can they find the right blend? You know, is it going to be back on Boo with Wissa on one side and then Bongonda behind them? I want to see some imagination from the DRC because the players are there. And now they've got the coach there. And remember, despite not appearing at the last AFCON, they had a great finish to their World Cup group qualifiers. Of course, they had Morocco, unfortunately, which was a very tough game for them. But for them to get to that playoff spot when many tried and failed, you know, they're a one game away from the World Cup, essentially, if they had a good result in Morocco. So the DRC have named their squad. They're back. They're working hard. Good luck to them. Let me know your thoughts if you're Congolese or not in the comments down below about this team, if you want to talk about any of the players. Thanks for watching. Good luck against Mauritania. I'll see you next time.